He could take the ball in the middle of the park and score a goal that no one else in the world could score. Arsene Wenger And throughout his career, that's exactly what he did. But it wasn't because of fancy dribbling or incredible strength. No, Thierry Henry had a different kind of secret weapon. But what could that be? Stay tuned to find out and let's kick it off! First, we need to start at the beginning. Thierry Henry, born August 17, 1977, in a suburb of Paris, was practically raised with a football at his feet. But get this, he wasn't all that into it at first. It was in the local parks and playgrounds where this kid's crazy talent for the game started to show. His dad, Antoine, was the tough love type, always keeping a close eye and making sure young Thierry stayed on track. Despite being naturally gifted, football wasn't Thierry's first love. Now, here comes the twist. When Thierry was just 13, a scout from Monaco, Arnold Catalano, dropped by to watch him play. And guess what? Thierry totally blew his mind by scoring all six goals in a 6 0 thrashing. Catalano was so wowed that he snagged Thierry for Monaco right then and there. No formal tryouts needed. Talk about making an entrance. Joining AS Monaco was like hitting the jackpot for Thierry. Under the wing of manager Arsene Wenger, this raw talent started shining like a diamond. The 1996-1997 season was like something out of a movie. Thierry was on fire. He helped Monaco reach the UEFA Champions League semi-finals and even bagged the League One title. And as if that wasn't enough, he was crowned the French Young Footballer of the Year. Now that's what you call a breakout season. But Thierry's journey wasn't just about his skills on the field. It's a story of grit, discipline and passion. His dad sparked that passion, fanned into flames by a visionary scout, and then turned into a blazing inferno by an iconic manager. The streets where he played as a kid weren't just playgrounds, they were the launching pad for a football legend. Fast forward to the Champions League with Monaco and the 1998 World Cup, and you've got yourself a saga of sheer ambition and skill. In the 97-98 Champions League, Thierry faced off against some of Europe's toughest teams. Despite the odds, his speed, smarts and technique made him a standout player. And even though Monaco didn't clinch the title, Thierry was just getting started on the international stage. The 1998 World Cup was a game-changer for Thierry. As a 20-year-old fresh from Monaco, making the French squad was huge, and boy did he deliver! Scoring crucial goals against South Africa and Saudi Arabia, Thierry was on fire. And when France won the World Cup, his star didn't just rise, it blasted off into the stratosphere. This kid from the Parisian suburbs was now a global sensation, and that was only the beginning. These scintillating performances had big clubs all over Europe lining up for his signature. He chose to move to Italy. The move to Juventus in 99 was a big leap for Thierry, throwing him into the deep end of European football. It wasn't all smooth sailing though. Adjusting to a new style and sky-high expectations, Thierry had a bit of a rocky start with the Italian powerhouse. But hey, every legend has to overcome a few hurdles, right? So, after a bit of a rocky start at Juventus, well, let's be honest, our man Thierry Henry was horrible. With just three goals in 16 matches, it seemed like the big stage of Italy was going to eat up and spit out another wonder kid. He clashed with teammates, coaches, and even the sporting director. This was really turning into a nightmare. It was clear a change of scenery was needed. So, in the summer of 1999, Henri made the big move to Arsenal and reunited with manager Arsene Wenger. At Arsenal, Thierry regained the confidence he lost at Juventus, and Wenger was key to helping him re-establish that. Wenger decided to mold Thierry from a winger to a striker and allowed him to roam free using his speed and agility to terrorize defenses. And did he ever! Henri hit the ground running and never looked back. 
scoring 17 goals in the campaign and leading to a call-up to France for Euro 2000 Championships. Henry performed like a superhero in cleats for France, zipping around the field, making goals look easy peasy and pretty much turning into everyone's favorite player overnight. It was like watching someone play a video game on beginner level. He made it look that easy. His performances during the tournament were so epic, they practically had people naming their kids Thierry. Okay, maybe not, but you get the point. He helped France to the title and then returned to Arsenal, where his scintillating form continued. Thierry wasn't just a part of the Gunners, he became the Gunners. Under Wenger's guidance, Henry went from super talented to superhuman. His time in the club was like a highlight reel that you couldn't stop watching. The guy had speed, finesse, and a football brain that made him a living nightmare for anyone trying to defend against him. And don't forget the trophies that Arsenal accumulated while he was there. Two Premier League titles, including that insane 2003-04 season where Arsenal went unbeaten. Yeah, they weren't just invincible, they were unstoppable. And let's not forget the four golden boots Henry snacked because, you know, scoring goals was just something he did for fun. Remember that hat-trick against Liverpool? He always seemed to save his biggest moments for the biggest stages. Sure, there were a few critics here and there, but Thierry had a way of dealing with them. He just let his football do the talking. And talk it did. Every time he stepped onto the pitch, it was like he was saying, sit back and watch, folks. Leaving Arsenal as the all-time leading scorer wasn't just a farewell, it was a mic drop. After eight years at the club, 174 goals and countless other memorable moments, it was time for Thierry to move on to a new challenge, Spain. Next stop, Barcelona 2007. Henri joins what's basically the Avengers of football. His time there was a mix of personal showstoppers and team triumphs. Yeah, he had some ups and downs, but let's not forget the trophy haul, Champions League, La Liga titles, and even a FIFA Club World Cup. Sure, the spotlight was shared with a couple of other superstars like Messi and Eto, but Henri's contribution? Absolutely legendary. His time at Barcelona wasn't just a chapter in his career, it was the cherry on top of an already mouth-watering cake. So. After tearing it up at Barcelona and his career coming to an end, Thierry Henry decided it was time for a bit of a scenery change. He packed his bags, said adios to Europe, and hopped over the pond to join the New York Red Bulls in the MLS. Now, you might think, okay, new continent, new league, probably a bit of a chill time for Thierry. But nope, this guy was like fine wine, getting better with age and dazzling everyone with those classic Henri moments proving talent doesn't care about your zip code. But here's the kicker. In 2012, Thierry pulled off a move straight out of a feel-good movie and made a short but sweet return to Arsenal on loan. It was like your favorite band getting back together for one last gig. The fans went wild, the nostalgia was through the roof, and it was a beautiful reminder that legends never really leave, they just take a break. Thierry Henry's football life is more than a story, it's an epic saga that would make even the most imaginative storytellers jealous. From the humble streets of Leoli to the dizzying heights of the Premier League, La Liga, and even a star-studded stint in the MLS, this guy's career is a how-to guide on becoming a worldwide football sensation. But it's not just the goals, the trophies, or the jaw-dropping skills that make his story stand out. Nope, it's about lighting the fire in the hearts of upcoming football wizards. Sitting back and watching a highlight reel of Thierry's greatest hits, it's not just about the mind-blowing goals, though let's be real, those are pretty awesome. It's about the whole journey, the bumps in the road, the victories that had fans screaming, and that undeniable love for the game that Thierry Henry wore like a badge of honor. His legacy? It's like a masterclass in greatness, not just because of what he did on the field, but because he showed everyone that the real magic is in inspiring the next lineup of dreamers and doers. So, here's to Thierry Henry, 
not just a football legend, but a true maestro of motivation. If you enjoyed this journey through football history, don't forget to hit the like button, smash subscribe for more content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Check out some of our other videos here. Until next time, see ya on the pitch.